We have come from near and far to gather together, not just to parade down the streets, not just to remember those whom we have lost, but Lord God, we have gathered because we are committed to nonviolence. Your friends are watching you. Each and every one of your friends are watching you, and each and every day that you choose to make the right decision for nonviolence, you impress another friend to do the same thing. Nonviolence is not impossible, but it takes time, it takes courage, it takes strength, it takes the dedication of not just a school district, but an entire school community. During the Civil Rights Movement, it was the children, some as young as nine, who changed this country. And we need, all of us here, young and old, we need to stand up and speak out when we see a wrong. I would like for y'all to take a moment and to think, what does it mean to be nonviolent? And are you living your life that way? Because it starts with us. We have to be the change we wish to see in this world. Our charge is for each and every one of us to go out and live nonviolence, to live inclusion, to live appreciation and love. And if every single one of us will do that, we're going to make a difference. We're going to make a difference in this region, in this world. was the vision of a group of high school kids from Youngstown, Ohio, who went on a journey called Sojourn to the Past, came up with an action plan, and Nonviolence Week was their action plan. I believe Christians are called to bring peace and bring people together across races and generations to do the work of justice and to transform our community. So I felt it was very important for me to be here to encourage nonviolence instead of violence as we seek to come together to do things for our community. I think it's just really powerful to show people that the church is alive and well and that the church is still relevant and speaking to issues in today's world and this issue of nonviolence is very important, not just in urban settings but everywhere that we are in East Ohio Conference. Many communities are confronted with violence um, and to have a town, a city here in Ohio where people can come from near and far um, representing every ethnicity, race, um, different generations to come and commit themselves to say that we are choosing to be nonviolent, that we are choosing to be peacemakers, and we are choosing um, to make others aware that no matter how violent um, our communities could be and might be, that we are the difference makers. And so it did my heart good to be a part of this parade and to be a part of this rally, to be a part of a community uh, that has taken a stand as such.